A drive to the council secretariat to Ofinle, a community in Igbogobayeku local council development area, took us about 20 minutes. Ofinle is a peaceful semi urban community. Farming and fishing are the major jobs here. Trading agricultural products and essential commodities continue. But the community was battling with a problem, a school for the children in the senior classes. When we got to this place, we, we, we met so many things going wrong, especially in terms of education. The nearby school to our place is at uh, Oreta, whereby people have to trek about four kilometers. The place is being deserted. They can kidnap children. And what we find out that school, uh, school children get uh, married early age, simply because of this fire with schools. Uh, there, are, there are another nearby school is Sumratu. Go from Ofin to Sumratu, we cost, go come, we cost 200 naira. There's no year we don't recall loss of children because of water. When they are going, either when they are in the school, when they are coming back, the rain will start falling. When the rain start falling, people get drunk several times. So that is why we call ourselves together. We appeal to everybody, both the fishermen and everybody else. Let's bring one one naira to make sure our, our children didn't go far. For more than two decades, the community yearned for a secondary school to put an end to the children traveling far distances on water to access qualitative education. All along the line, we learned that that school has been marked for secondary school, but being owned by Agrican Mission. But unfortunately, uh, when we went into it, they, they said they want their name to be put in that school. But when we contacted them at Alausa, they said it's not possible that they don't want to involve in anything that is religious organization, like Muslim or whatever, unless we make it uh, just community. But the more they tried, the more the hope dimmed. It seemed a mission impossible. Then the inhabitants decided to look inwards. The Community Development Association reached out to residents with a heart of gold to save the leaders of tomorrow. We came together and we reasoned. The feeling we had, that is what Paul knows, to say, is settlement from St. 14th century that has not got any primary. Our children go to Reli, they go to Sumuratu, and they are, we, are, they, we see that they are exposed to kidnapping, raping, uh, abduction, and, other, and what, all these uh, fights that is around us. That is why we put ourselves together and we started to contribute blocks, money, material, and physically being present to supervise that this come to be. We just started by contacting people, giving ourselves a task, the CDAs, what you can able to this thing, because we, know we have a, a team together, which we call the joint CDA. But being is going to help others, I decided to contact them that probably this is. So we started, and you cannot imagine, it's little less than 20 million. The community reformers believed that development is not just about the material aspect of people's life. It is about touching the social and cultural lives of the people. So they gathered themselves and began the journey that changed the history of the town and give hope to the children. The community decided that instead of having our children staying at home or stressing themselves from this place to another place to school, that they should have a place for them. So that's why they gathered together, they contributed, and they began the foundation of this school. At last, Ofinle completed its community junior secondary school. For the first time in the history of the community, 
a junior secondary school became available. The product of collective sweat. Uh, we meet people, they gather money like 1,000, 2,500. 2, Everybody come together, we bring the money together to start the foundation of the school. So we thank God today, we thank the community leaders and even the ballet and uh, the ballet in council, bringing people together that this school come to source still now. These streets brought relief to parents, teachers and students of the joint communities. To complete the task, members of Ophinle community went a step further to employ quality teachers to help change the destiny of the children. Soon, the students began to walk with their heads high. When we just started school, we were packed into some classroom, maybe TV classroom. We don't have enough teachers, chairs, so we have to adjust uh, ourselves. But now, community people build um, GS1 and GS2, but there is no classroom, GS TV. I'm calling on good people of Nigeria, philanthropists, um, the government to come and help us to build more classes. Initially, before they brought us a teacher, we have to engage the service of six teachers. The list of them is, uh, which is, we have master among them, and we are just giving, just giving them two twenty thousand naira, just their own contribution towards, because they've never had it like that there. No second school in that place. Lagos community updates guarded that Governor Akiomi Ambodi has on assumption approved the school and promised to provide all the necessary infrastructures. We have to use this opportunity to thank Governor Ambodi. It, he approved the school. I think it's one of his first school Amber Day government, the first secondary school Amber Day government approved. This is the school. So, but approving the school, he has to take so many things before the things take, take off. Ophinle community also wants well spirited Nigerians who want the best for these future leaders to support in providing more classrooms in the school and support materials for the people. Uh, private individuals or those who had the interest of these children as we do have them in our heart, please come to our aid. Uh, our able governor, please, we are on our knees begging, asking you, because you are talking to do. Whatever you talk, you they do. Come and do us. Let's have the taste of a uh, uh, democratic dispensation of these good governors. We are appealing to all Nigerians. Uh, who know the importance of education and who want to help others, they should come to our heads. It's, it's what we, from GSS Theory now, if they leave this place, where are they going? We need senior secondary school. Even the GSS Theory, the, uh, it cannot be enough. The classroom we build is not enough. We are appealing to the government, the corporate organization, anybody who thought that it's good to educate people should come and help us. Until that happens, school life in the community has improved for good. And not make a forest. Developing our community needs a collective effort. Let's join our hands together and make it happen. And with that, we've come to the end of today's episode on Lagos Community Objects. Do join me again next time. Till then, I am Adejoke Shodendi Adenyoju. But always remember whatever you do, wherever you are, never work against your community because your community is yours. <laughs>